dear students today we will discuss about a loading problem which is a very frequent problem in electronic circuits and then we will discuss about a solution of it we will call it as impedance match before coming to the detail explanation let me take a very simple example if there are two resistances 1k and 10k connected between point e and f and if you measure the value of these two in parallel combination one being completely very low and another being quite high the total parallel combination comes out to be 1k that means whenever a small resistance is connected in parallel to a large resistance then the equivalent is always on the lower side so the concept you have to understand before understanding this concept of loading problem and in any circuit any circuit for example your cro signal generator power supply and all there is a circuit which is actually consisting of many sub circuits the issue arises whenever voltage has to transfer from first circuit to second circuit second circuit to third third to fourth fourth to fifth and so on what is to be taken care is there should not be voltage loss at the interface if there is a voltage loss that is called loading problem let's take a very simple example i have taken here a potential divider arrangement where i am applying 15 volt I have taken two resistors, 10k, 10k, which will divide the potential, and hence the total potential across A and B will be 15, 7.5 volts. 15 divided by two equal values, that is 7.5 volts. Now the idea is what this 7.5 I want to apply to certain circuit. Let's imagine a situation: the circuit resistance itself is also 10k, 10 ohms, 10 kilo ohms. If I connect A and C and B and D. The interesting part is the moment I connect 10k, this comes in parallel with 10k, total becomes 5k, then the total resistance circuit is 10k and this is total is 5k. This 15 volt will re-divide and you'll get here 10 volt, you'll get a 5 volt. That means when this load was not connected or the circuit was not connected, the voltage at cross AB was 7.5. And the moment you connect it, it drops to 5. This is called loading problem. And this is a frequent problem whenever there is an interface between different sub circuits within a circuit. The problem is how it can be solved exactly. Now, with, if we see this example here 1k parallel to 10k is approximately 1k. If I apply the same concept here, rather than taking 10 kilo ohms and 10 kilo ohms, if I just take here 1 kilo ohm and 1 kilo ohm, my voltage remains 7.5 again. And now if I connect A and C and B and D, this being 1k, this being 10k, this resistance is very low compared to this. Effective resistance will remain 1k. Potential which was divided as 7.5, 7.5 will remain 7.5. That means the circuit from which the voltage is coming and the circuit to which the voltage is receiving the output of this resistance output impedance of this circuit should be very low and output input impedance of this circuit should be very high this is a simple solution resume i don't have any choice of changing the resistances neither the load what i'll do is i'll come to the concept of voltage follower we all know in a voltage follower opam is in this configuration vi will be always VO will be always equal to VI. The concept is if it is VI at A it will be VI. Inverting follows non-inverting so it will remain VI. There is no resistance between B and C so it will remain VI. So whatever is the voltage at the input same I am getting at output. But the question arises what is the use of such circuit? The interesting part here is if I don't have any choice of any change neither the potential divider nor the load here. And if I introduce this op-amp circuit here between A and C, then without changing these two resistances and without changing the load, whatever voltage will be given to input of op-amp, which is connected at A, will be received at this point C. So loading problem is solved. That means impedance is being matched. That means impedance mismatch is being removed. Thank you.